Hello. Welcome to our lab. That's, uh, doesn't feel right. Much better. Have you ever wondered what it's like to look into an X-ray tube? Me too. And today we are going to find it out. But first, what is an X-ray tube? An X-ray tube is rather simple device. It consists of a filament, a target or anode, and a high voltage source. So the filament is basically a light bulb. So the filament is heated up with a low voltage current and that heating uh, causes the electrons to be released in the vacuum uh, of the tube. Uh, the high voltage uh, connected between the filament and the target accelerates the electrons uh, into very high velocities and uh, when they uh, hit the target they produce X-rays when they decelerate and excite the atoms of the target material. And this is how it looks like in practice. So, first and foremost you don't see the tube itself, but uh, this is just the casing. Uh, naturally we need uh, a lot of uh, radiation shielding so that the users won't get exposed uh, from the radiation. But uh, uh, if we see inside, we see that uh, the filament is somewhere here, the anode is somewhere here, so the electrons would uh, be accelerated uh, from this part to this part and they would come out uh, of this uh, aperture here. Uh, in addition to, to the radiation shielding, this casing has another function, uh, which is cooling. So these tubes here are uh, water hoses, uh, which uh, uh, circulate the water inside the tubing. And that's because uh, most of the energy uh, that is put into the X-ray tube uh, goes into the heat, not into a radiation. So I would say that uh, X-ray tubes are mostly water heaters, with an extra property of giving you cancer. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Cancer. Oh yeah, that's a bad idea. So instead of using my eyes, I am going to use my phone instead. I have never done this before, so I have no idea what happens. I hope I don't need a new phone after this, but let's see. So, what is going on? Normally, with optical photons, the camera works like this. We have an object we want to take a picture of, we have a lens that focuses the light rays coming from the object, and we have this pixelated image detector made of some uh, semiconductor materials. And uh, uh, when the light ray when the rays of light uh, come from the object and hit the lens, they are focused uh, on the detector so that an image forms uh, in the mirror-like fashion. But if that object were to send X-rays, it just goes through the lens and illuminates any pixel they want. That's because X-rays, they don't really care about the lens. Materials do refract X-rays, but uh, so tiny amount that uh, we don't really see a difference here. So that's why we don't see a small spot where those X-rays originate from, but we see these speckles going all over uh, our video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Source.